Hello again, and welcome to another wonderful episode of How Not To Be A Spear Fisherman. On today's episode, I'm going to show you one of the most depressing things that has happened to me in recent times. Possibly ever when it comes to tusk fish. Like, I mean, I'm dropping down this lovely little bommy, it's in 27 to 30 meters, and I turn, and here it is, a massive black spot tusk fish. Just look at the jaw on this thing, it's protruding, it's fat, oh, this is like a 13 to 15 kilo fish. And it turns, and it presents, and I hit it beautifully. Right behind the eye, just behind the head. This should be all over and done with. But the flopper doesn't open. It doesn't engage. Now, I don't know whether there was a scale stuck on it. I don't know whether the flopper had just had a bit of stuff jamming it, or if it hadn't been tuned right, or if something else went wrong. But all I know is no flopper open, no awesome tusk fish. But did I learn my lesson? No, I continued using that same shaft for the rest of the day. And look what happened when a really good school of Spanish came through. Yeah, did you guess? I shot the fish and it came back out without the flopper opening. Ah, oh, amazing. Who would have guessed that would have happened? And now look, the school's just swimming around below me, taunting me. Saying things like, you can't get your flopper up and, oh, how's it going, flaccid flopper? So, to all of those still watching, my advice is this, look after your flopper and your flopper will look after you. Or don't look after your flopper and leave all the fish you shaft unsatisfied and unfulfilled and very, very unhappy. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Or I won't because I probably still won't have fixed my flopper. And watch this bit, look, look, I can't even load a gun properly. Oh well, thanks for watching another episode of How Not To Be A Spear Fisherman, and enjoy your life until we meet again.